and welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara Kramlavich. Behind me is my dog, Cosette. Who knows what she's doing? And today we're going to talk about three different ways that you can use a microfiber towel to plop your curly hair. So if you are a Curls Monthly subscriber, a big warm welcome to you. And if you are not a Curls Monthly subscriber, Curls Monthly is my curly hair subscription service where each month I send you five of my favorite curly or wavy hair products. And the October subscribers got this Kitsch microfiber hair towel. If you're not already familiar with the brand Kitsch in general, I'm gonna show you the logo because most likely you've seen it someplace. This is a very popular brand. It's in like every Target, Ulta, CVS that exists. And for the most part, Kitsch makes really great high quality hair accessories, towels, clips, bobby pins, hair ties, claw clips, etc. They also started to just dabble into some products. They do have a great line of shampoo bars. But this microfiber towel is so soft and so, so plush and so absorbent. Kitsch's microfiber hair towels massively cut down drying time. They're super gentle on the hair. Like this is the softest microfiber I've ever felt in my entire life. It reduces breakage, especially when you're switching this out for a regular standard terry cloth towel. This Kitsch towel helps tame frizz. Like I said, it's highly absorbent and it can also be turned into a turban like I had in the beginning of this video. And I must say Kitsch has the best designs. This is their sunset pattern, but they have like a Stranger Things line. They have this adorable Bridgerton line. They really just have some of the cutest designs on their site. You have to check it out. Of course, I'll put a link below as well as a nice discount code for you. As much as using microfiber hair towels are amazing for obviously speeding up your drying time and things like that, they can also be used to your advantage to style your hair. So today I'm going to kind of discuss three different ways that you can use a microfiber towel to style and actually impact your end results while drying your hair faster. The first way you can use your microfiber hair towel is by doing something called micro plopping. Micro plopping is my go-to. This is what I usually do. And basically when I micro plop, I primarily do it after all of my products are on and all of my hair is styled. So my hair is still wet, but after, very important, after I have put my products on, my leave-in conditioners, my gels, I'll then do it afterwards. Now, a big question I get is, doesn't the products come off when you use the microfiber towel? I mean, yeah, some of the products come off, but not so much to the point that it's like taking the product from your hair. I microflop every single wash day. It cuts down my drying time so much, but not only that, it sets my curls in a much better place. And I noticed this was with wavies too, especially when I had my wavy clients, when I would micro plop their hair for them, um, their hair would get so much curlier just by like one motion. But when you micro plop, um, basically you're just going to take the towel in your hand and you're just scrunching your hair. So what you would do on soaking wet hair after you styled is you actually just wanna go up all the way to the root, pulse three times, one, two, three, and then release. And then you would do that all over the rest of your hair. I usually suggest doing it for a solid two minutes. It might seem excessive when you're there, but I promise you it makes such a difference to your drying time and how your curl pattern turns out. So it makes such a huge difference on your entire end results entirely. The second way that you can use a microfiber towel to help style your hair is by plopping. Plopping is what my hair was in earlier, which is basically you can use a towel as like a turban on top. Now, when you plop, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they won't put all of their hair to the top of their head before they put their plop on. All my hair is off the top of my head, so that means it'll dry, it'll begin to dry in a more curled position. Um, so again, you wanna plop the same time that you micro plop, AKA after all of your products are in your hair. I do not wanna see you plopping before you, right after the shower. Eh cut it out, don't do it. Worst mistake you can make, it's the easiest thing that you can just change in your routine. Do not put a towel to your hair until after your products are in it. When you plop, you wanna do it for a maximum of 20 minutes at the end of your routine. Yes, the longer you do it, the less drying time you'll have when you diffuse or air dry, but if you do it longer than 20 minutes, I find that it just prevents, or I find that it gives so much more frizz so 20 minutes max, I would say five minutes minimum. The third way is specifically only for people either with wavy hair and or low density or fine hair. Only, only, only for those people, AKA not me. And this is going to be leave-in plop products. 
So basically what that means is you're going to apply your leave-in conditioner on soaking wet hair as we usually want to apply all products on soaking wet hair. But for this one, we are going to change it up a bit. So leave-in conditioner or curl cream on soaking wet hair. Then you can either traditional plop with the turban or micro plop by scrunching. And then you're going to apply your additional styling products. So a mousse is really great after that or a gel is really great after that. And what this does is it's going to at least get your hair penetrated with products while it's soaking wet. Then you can take a little bit of water out of it before you add your other products. So sometimes for these low densities or very wavy hair that does not tend to hold its curl pattern, the water can be a little bit too much. What this does is it kind of like uses the benefits of the water and takes away the potential drawbacks of having a little too much water for those hair types. All three of these methods give you completely different results. So you have to let me know in the comments which one you like the best. Again, I microplop almost every single wash day. Seldomly I plop and I never do the third thing because my hair just isn't that hair type. Definitely give me a thumbs up if this video has helped you at all and make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. And I will leave a link below to subscribe to Curls Monthly if you are interested in hearing more about that. See you next time.